hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now today's piece of content has been nearly a year in planning. Myself, several other EDC YouTubers from around the world um, are releasing simultaneously, hopefully, we're gonna get this all at the same time, uh, releasing a challenge piece. So what we have agreed on is each of us will make a piece of content on a $600 spend and there are six items that you can include in that which are a knife, a pocket tool, a wallet, a key organizer, a pen and last but not least pen, key organizer, a flashlight or a torch. There you go. I remember them all. This is, uh, this is the, the second time I've had to do this. Uh, and then whatever is left from that money we can then spend on another item this is going to be this is going to be our wild card item it could be two or three items if you know depending on how much money's left we're all gonna um release it at the same time but please stay tuned to the end so that you can find out how you can see the rest of the content i don't want to make this beginning too long i'm just going to get straight into it now before as, as i'm doing this because there's a lot of things to remember what i'll do is, is i'll just put the, the, the dollar value for each of these on the screen so that you can we can tally it up as we go along. There's a lot to remember. I have a terrible memory, but getting straight into it. The first item in my right pocket here for a knife is the absolutely amazing CVV Stylum. This is another absolutely stunning UK legal knife from CVV. CVV for me, you know, they're, they're absolutely on top of their game making reasonably budget friendly to middle kind of market knives. Uh, this has a, a nice steel, it's still with the under three inches, which I mean you can, you can carry this here in the UK. Um, it's a slip joint with two detents in the side, so the liners, I want to say liner lock, obviously it's not a liner lock, but it has two liner compression detents on the inside. Uh, it's a front flipper, so you can, and I'm just getting used to this, mainly because you, you do have to, I find with some CVV knives that you have to kind of bed them in, um, but it's a front flipper which has a beautiful and smooth action on it, and has these really, really nice uh, micarta scales. This is a very nice knife. The next item after that was a multi-tool. The multi-tool can vary, so it could be a traditional multi-tool style multi-tool, or it can be a pry bar. It's just a secondary tool that you would use that is kind of a, a, as a backup to your main knife. For me, with the CVV being UK legal, I decided to push it to make sure that I stayed within the legal realms here in the UK. It wasn't part of the of the setup, but I, th I thought I'd do that anyway, just as a as a small challenge to myself. And I went with the Leatherman Bond. So still within the realms of being UK legal, we have the Leatherman Bond. Uh, the Leatherman Bond is, uh, in, in, to some degree, a fairly typical um, EDC multi-tool with pliers on there, and then you have the rest of the tools in here. Uh, one of the main attractions for this here in the UK is you have a knife here that is one that it's non-locking and two it's shorter than three inches so we certainly don't have any problems here in the UK. The other tools that are on there pop out nice and easily. You have an additional screwdriver on there, sorry I just want to get this in focus, Your additional screwdriver, a can opener and then on this side there is a file and then a few other tools as far as uh, an awl and two flathead screwdrivers. All of this folds away into a really, really pocket friendly size and weight as well. Uh, as far as the weight on this, it, it, it is quite light. Um, and yeah, it has some of that old school Leatherman vibes when you're looking at the rebar uh, and some of the first tools that they made. Now the next two items really do go hand in hand, mainly because they're from the same manufacturer. And I think when these are pieced together, they make a really, really good set. So what we're looking at is the mod wallet for my uh, wallet selection and the key loop for my key organizer selection. Now these are both from Distill Union 
and again they make an absolutely amazing pair together. So coming from the same manufacturer with Distill Union you can see why these I had to put these two together. From get, first receiving these and making some content on them they quickly became some of my favourite wallet and, and favourite key loops. The way in which these work is, I'm just going to put that in my pocket there for a second. So this is this is the mod wallet. It's a minimalist wallet that opens uh, like a billfold. You even have uh, this part in the middle here if you want to keep some cash. There are two points here so that you can slip in maybe your most used cards. And then on each of the edges, so if I open this again, sorry, on each of the edges here, you can then put additional cards in here which you can pull out uh, using these these little tabs. Now the beauty of this is, so these are magnetized here so that when you close it they uh, they hold together really well. The beauty of this is, which I really like the modularity on this is, the whole thing opens up so you have two neodymium magnets at each end. If you want to take the cash clip out, you can take the cash clip out and put them back together. Maybe you're going out for the night with drinks for some friends. These are the cards that you don't use the most, so you don't take those with you, and then you have a nice, super simple wallet that you can take with you as well. So that's the mod wallet, but on off the back of that, we have the key loop, again, from Distill Union. So I run three, sometimes four times a week, and for me, I don't always want to take my uh, car key with me. You know, I, I like to be as Spartan, more and Spartan as possible. So the way that this works is you have your keys, they all fit perfectly into this very, very nice uh, leather key loop so that you can have less jingle in your pocket. But these also use the same magnets as we had on the mod wallet. So I can pinch, pull these open, I can take my car key with me and go for a run while I leave my house keys in the car. Or, like you say, you know, maybe I'm going out on a night with some buddies and I don't want to take my car keys with me. I can just take my keys, I can take my mod wallet and just the, uh, just the side that I want to take with me. That's why these are, the modularity on these is absolutely amazing. If you wanted to as well, maybe I just want to take my front door key with me. I don't want to take those keys. I just want to take my wallet and my front door key. I can attach that onto there gangbusters. Now when it came to choosing a pen this really was, out of all of the things that we looked at today, this was the easiest thing for me. The bolt action pen from Bastion. Behold the beast that is the bolt action pen from Bastion. This thing is like a tank and I genuinely mean it's like a tank. If I can bring this in close enough you can see how thick the metal is through there. It's at least two or three millimeters thick. The bolt action on this is the clickiest, fidgiest bolt action movement, again, that I've ever come across. All of your colleagues in the office will absolutely hate you after a week of having this with you. The best thing of it is, you don't care, because if anyone tries to attack you and say, stop clicking your pen, you've got this absolute beast of a pen to defend yourself against them with. I genuinely... Having used this pen, I, I'm a big Parker pen fan, but having used this, this absolute freaking beast, I very rarely use any of the pens. Uh, it's made from stainless steel. Uh, you can unscrew the ends. That, that's where the barrel opens. The, um, the oh, what do you call this? The cartridges on the inside uh, are all Parker pen cartridges, which you know you can pick up pretty much anywhere in the world. You certainly don't have any issues trying to find Parker pen refills. There's a little clip on here as well. If you want to take that off, you can unscrew these uh, to take that off and then put the screws back in afterwards to keep it nice and flush. This one pen is possibly a pen that I've recommended so much and I think everybody that I've recommended this to having received it has got straight back into the comments and gone more under. This is a freaking beast and it is a beast. It's a freaking beast. I'm going to say it again. It's a freaking beast. Urgh, beast. Now the last one on the list was a flashlight and this really was a last minute entry. Although I had this in mind, it took a couple of weeks to get to me and it was really touch and go whether I was gonna have to put in another one. 
but for me it's the Rovivon E5 Angel Eyes. Now I know that I've definitely said this in other pieces of content, but I think for EDC pocketable flashlights, Rovivon really are at the top of their game at the moment. Uh, this one is part of the E Angel Eyes uh, series. There is the E1, the E3 and the E5. This is the E5. Uh, this comes with an aluminium top here to, to help with the heat uh, and then it's glow in the dark here at the bottom. They're all charging now via USB type C. Two really nice LEDs in the top and then we've got all of the functions from these two. The functions from this one whether it's a long press, whether it's a double press, um, these are all for the main LEDs here at the top. This bottom button is for all of these additional lights. So we have normal LEDs, which you can, you can get through and then you can uh, cycle through those. Or with the double click, you've then got the additional ultraviolet light there on the bottom as well. What makes this special and different from a lot of other lights is the fact that you have the LiPo battery that is already in here, plus you can add in when you flick up this latch, which is nice and tough, which I think it should be. You can pop that open and then with a twist, you can get a, into your double A battery there. So if you find that you've run out and your the, the LiPo battery that's inside has run out of charge, you can switch between the two, which is an incredibly useful idea when it comes to flashlights like this. So they are my six mandatory items within my $600. Now, I still have some money left, mainly because yeah, my, my channel, I like to go for reasonable kind of budget things, budget to uh, middle kind of market things, which a lot of those are. You know, there are some high-end ones on there, but it's meant that it's left me with some money, which means it doesn't take you long to watch Moreland EDC to know that I, there's two things for me that I really love. That's watches and that's bags. Now I've been wearing this whole time the other two items. The first one is something that I made some content on recently and absolutely have, I mean, I've had a love-hate relationship with this. I didn't like it at first. I bought the Casio G-Shock GAB 2100 which I've fallen in love with really it's a great watch and I've updated this so the first thing that we'll look at is the Casio G-Shock GAB 2100 so within recent memory possibly the last decade or so the most significant watch from Casio has to be the GA 2100 it really is the watch that broke the internet because there are so many people trying to get their hands on this watch. They recently updated the watch. This is the GAB 2100. They've added a few features on here. So it is now solar powered with their Tough Solar uh, technology. And they've also added some Bluetooth in there. Bluetooth for me, bit of a throwaway item. I'm, I'm not particularly bothered by this, but knowing that I can have this on my wrist for as long as I want and it to be able to be charged from the sun really was the game changer for me. What I also did was using um, one of the lug adapters from J's and K's and these really nice archer straps. I've been able to make this into the watch that I really wanted it to be. My main down point for this was the strap. I really thought that the original strap that came with it was, it was just, it didn't suit the rest of the watch. So putting this strap on here, I think has, has made this into the watch that I felt I'd, you know, created this, this legend within my head. And yeah, I think for my first wild card, it had to be a watch and it had to be the Casio, the G-Shot Casio. Within the realms of EDC, watches are a very close second. My biggest love, and it's always been my biggest love, is bags. Whether that's backpacks, satchels, crossbody bags, waist bags, slings. I just love bags. I, I, I like the engineering of them. And I love the fact that whenever I go out, all of my adventures and stupid stuff that I get in, up to, even just daily commutes, I always take a bag with me. No matter where I go, even if it's just for a five minute walk, always take a bag with me. So the bag that I've been wearing through this whole thing is the Able Carry Daybreaker. So the last one on my list, my final wild card, 
is this, the Daybreaker. As my second wild card, the Daybreaker from Able Carry was, you know, it, it just made perfect sense with the amount of money that I'd got left. This is a 25 litre pack made from X-Pack sailcloth. What that does is make sure that it's super tough, but it's also very light. As far as uh, rear panel or anything like that, it's very minimal as far as the construction um, and reinforcement within this. If you wanted to take this on holiday, you could literally just roll it up or put it flat into a bag. Uh, I think as far as the weight is concerned, it's just over half a kilo when, it, when it's empty and dry. You've got nice bottle storage on the side, perfect for day trips out. There's an extra zip pocket here on the side if you want to put some valuables into there as well. Obviously, you know, if you're on a day out, you need to be, make sure that you're careful with that. Two Aquacard zips here onto the, on the top to give you full access into this nice 25 litre pocket that you can put all of your stuff into. An extra little mesh pocket here on top as well. Another company that at the moment really that you know they're going from strength to strength able carry and making some absolutely amazing bags my favorite bag uh, the able carry max is the larger bigger brother to this um, i'll leave a link for that purely because you yeah you need to check that out that bag is so highly regarded but as its smaller sibling i think the daybreaker does an excellent job if you're wanting to take something light and minimal away with you for day breaks or even using this to commute you can fit up to a 15 inch laptop in this but i'm a huge bag fan and this fits into a very nice spot for me and i am pretty much yeah close to 600 dollars and I've, I had an awesome time trying to work out exactly what I'd be doing with all of these items. So I got my six mandatory items in and I got two wildcard items in, which just really show a little bit more of me. As I say, you know, I love my watches and I also love my bags as well. Now, all of the links to all of these items I'll leave below, but most importantly, as far as links are concerned, You'll be able to find all of the other channels that are taking part as part of this. We're all going to release our content at the same time. So if you go down into the description now, you'll be able to find a link to every one of the other people that are contributing as part of this. Highly recommend watching them all because you'll also see on all of our different channels or on all the different pieces of content that there'll also be a link on there so that you can just quickly click on that link and it will take you to a voting site so that you can vote who you think has been the best. Now, <laughs> I know at this point you're gonna be thinking that it's me, but you know, maybe a few of you should give the other guys a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a try just to say, yeah, no, you know, is, is a bit of a, a pity like. There's, there's a few old people on the list, maybe. But all honesty, it's been absolutely amazing trying to organise this with all of these people. This will hopefully grow in the future. I'm looking at new people to get involved. And we're maybe going to do this a couple of times a year with different themes. And it should it's hopefully be exciting. The main thing that this is about is building a community and we all get to have some fun whilst we do that. And that community it re really is really is an important factor of this because building that community is just is, is never going to be a bad thing. We, we get to bounce off each other and we've already already got other things that we you know we're thinking of doing so. Yes, definitely check everybody out. All of the links for all of the other videos, all the pieces of content are in the description below. Watch them all and then vote. By the way, th so, so there isn't a prize at the end of this. Maybe there should have been a prize. Maybe, the, yeah, there possibly could have been a prize. The main prize is kudos to say, yes, you know, mine's the best, which <laughs> obviously that'll be great. Um, but I'll stop waffling for now. I definitely want to say a massive shout out to everybody else that got involved as well. You guys are awesome. And yeah, very proud of getting this sorted, finalized, and the content out for everybody to see. Gushing a little bit, generally I'm gushing. Um, so yeah, but as always, for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC items which is your your carry 
a knife, a tool, a, an additional kind of pocket tool, a wallet, a key organizer. Um, shit. I'll be back. Oh, it's in my bag. No, it's not. Shit. Shitty shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Knife, multi-tool, wallet, pen, key organizer, torch. Take two. What about all of these bloody twigs? I can tell I've got a lot of EDC in my pocket today. <laughs> Having to pull my pants off. 